Hi everyone, hello and welcome to my class where today we are going to learn how to draw a helix, a simple helix. So let's start. Today's topic, I'm going to write it down over here, is going to be the helix. And the way to understand this is by, let's use this um, taped marker, which I have taped to a ruler over here, standard ruler, okay? And if I rotate this marker, so let me give you my back for a while, okay? And if I rotate this ruler and marker, like so, what we see is that the marker, the tip of the marker, the blue tip, is tracing a circle, okay? So when I rotate the marker, it is tracing a circle. Let us consider that we are making one whole turn, right? So the marker is starting at the top and is ending at the top again. So if I had to draw what I am seeing, then I would draw a circle. Okay? Now I am drawing in freehand here, so it will not be so perfect. But now, consider this. If I am oriented in this manner, okay, so first we have rotated the ruler, like so, okay? But now I am going to orient myself looking in this direction, okay? And what you will see when I rotate the ruler is that the marker is going down and up again, okay? So you know it is making a circle, but what you see from your position over there, from the camera's position over there, is that the ruler is going down, 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 okay? The marker tip is going down, and now it's going up, 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 and up again. So if I had to draw this, let me draw it aligned, okay? Aligned to this side, so this is the center of the circle, and what you see, if I align it, is that the marker goes down and the marker goes back up. So, let me recap this. From my position, I am seeing a circle, okay? So the tip of the marker is tracing a circle. It's called a locus, okay? This is the locus of the tip of the marker, which is a circle. And the locus that you see, the same locus that you see, okay, from the camera position, is a line which goes down and then goes back up. But this is the same thing, okay? This is what I am seeing and this is what the camera is seeing. Now, how do we get to the helix? We get to the helix by adding something, uh, some complexity to it. So, what I will do now is rather than just rotating the ruler again, I will rotate the ruler for one whole turn while I am moving forward. So, I'll move forward and rotate the ruler. Okay? So, let's do this again. I am going to rotate one whole revolution while walking forward. And the rotation is at constant speed and my walking is at constant speed as well. So what's happening now is that from your position, what you see is a marker that is going down and then it's going back up. But while it is going down, it is also moving forward and while it's going up, it is moving forward as well. So, if I had to draw this, I would start here from the same position. Let me do some lines over here, okay? Just to keep the same uh, heights, all right? And if I had to draw this, the marker is now going down, but it's also moving forward and still going down, and then it starts going up, and it forms a helix. Now, excuse my freehand, which is not very good, but that would be the shape of a one revolution, one turn of a helix. So, this helix is made up of one turn, correct? Because we have turned the ruler for one revolution. Now, also, 
the distance that I have walked from here up to here, that is called the lead. So if I have walked, okay, for like, let's say 10 paces, then I can say that the lead is 10 paces. But we do not measure in paces, we measure in millimeters. So I can say that the lead, all right, let us assume that we have a lead of 120 millimeters. Okay, there is one final dimension which I wish to introduce here, and that is the radius of the circle over here. Okay, and let us say that the radius or the diameter, let's say radius, well, radius is, and let's make it a 40 millimeter radius. All right, so let me wrap this off very quickly. So assuming that I am drawing on paper, right, and I want to draw this helix, which has one turn, a lead of 120 millimeters, and a radius of 40 millimeters, I will start like this. First of all, I will draw the circle, and the circle needs to be of the correct radius, so you need to open the compass at 40 millimeters, and then I can divide this circle into 12 equal parts. And we will see why in a short while. So dividing the circle into 12 equal parts means that I am to divide the circle using 30 degree intervals. Okay? So use your set squares or your drafting head to divide the circle into 12 by increasing um, 30 degree intervals every time. Now I would also number every every part of the circle so five six i also like to write down zero on the number 12 so it's like a clock face right and the clock would have the numbers written down like so where this is one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock and so on right now this has 12 and it also has zero you can say that uh, we are marking off midnight as 0 and midday as 12. Now, in order to draw the helix, I would proceed and project some lines horizontally from each and every number over here. I will draw those lines as horizontally as possible. You can use your equipment to make horizontal lines, of course. And I will mark off the start of my helix. So that's the start. This is where I'm going to start of the helix. Now, like we have seen before, the curve is going to start from here and go down and up. Now, we also know that the lead of this helix is 120 millimeters. So what I do now is mark off 120 millimeters from the start and the end should be, let's say somewhere here, if this is 80, this would be something uh, somewhat longer, okay? And that would be kind of the end of my helix. And now I need to divide this whole length, the length of the lead, I need to divide it into 12 equal parts, okay? Sorry for that. Now, let's make the divisions. If you need to learn how to make a division of a line, there is another video on YouTube which you can follow. I will make a link to that video, all right? But uh, in this video, I will not explain that because it's beyond the purpose here. So, assume that you know how to do that, all right? Let me just draw one line over here. But I will estimate the divisions and I will not go through 
the division of a line process. But like I said, if you need to learn how to make a division of a line, then uh, just follow the link in the video. Now, after dividing this line, I will write down some numbers starting with zero, and that's why I have included zero over here. And then I go on with one and two. up to 12 and then I will draw lines going straight upwards sorry if I'm covering the camera a little bit but I have to be in front to make them as vertical as possible all right now Let's consider what we have done here. Now, this circle, let me introduce the ruler again. This circle is what we have seen at the beginning of the video when I rotated the ruler like so, okay? And we traced the cap of the, of the marker, okay? And we have seen a circle. Now, when I, I am holding the ruler like so, if I rotate and move forward, okay? I will draw the helix here, but considering what's going on, all right, now what I am seeing myself, so if I orient myself looking this way, so that we are seeing the same thing, we're looking at this part now, all right, if I rotate one twelfth of a turn, I would be somewhat here, okay, which is 30 degrees, so I will be on point number one. This is where I am after one twelfth of a turn, okay? And after another one twelfth of a turn, okay, I will be on number two. And after another one twelfth of a turn, I will be on number three, okay? Also, after one twelfth of a turn, I would have moved forward one twelfth of the lead, okay? So I would, I would have moved forward 10 millimeters, and I would have rotated 30 degrees. So, by using this grid and matching the numbers, zero, okay, zero matches with zero, matches up with zero. Number one matches up with number one. So number one is here, okay. Number two matches up with number two. So that goes here. Number three matches up with number three. Four with four. Five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And this is where the helix is going through. Now, I just realized that I'm using the red marker because that's what I usually do in class, but from the camera, this may be hard to see, so let me repeat this, okay? I marked off number one here. And number one, I'll mark it up over here as well. And all I'm doing is just matching number one with number one and marking it off. Okay? Before number one, I should mark number zero, which is here. Okay? That's the start of the helix. And then I go on to mark off number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, all those points are points on the helix. Let me recap the explanation of this before I draw the helix. So, the explanation of this, if you understood already, you can skip it. Otherwise, you can listen, listen to it again, okay? If I'm looking at, uh, at the ruler like so, okay? So, we are looking, me and the camera, we are oriented in the same way, okay? This is what I'm seeing, the circle, and I am rotating one twelfth, and I get to number one. I rotate another one twelfth, and I get to number two. I rotate another one twelfth, and I get to number three, and so on and so forth, until I make one whole revolution. Okay? And if I am oriented like so, I am still seeing the circle over here, okay? But the camera is seeing a, a ruler with the cap, just trace the cap, okay? Just keep track of the cap. 
and it is going down and up but while I'm going forward if I go forward it's going up and moving sorry it's going down and moving a little bit so down 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 and moving forward moving forward moving forward okay and that's what's happening over here it's going down and forward and back up and keeps going forward again okay so if I trace this now I will end up with this curve should be a little smoother over here and even over here and freehand is not my strong suit but it will do okay and that is the way to draw a simple helix.